right, YouTube. This is April 23rd, 2019. Um, as you see from the title, I left Bolt. Uh, I left Bolt. I'm done with being out on the road. It was a decision that wasn't easy to come by. Um, a lot of options I had to weigh out, you know, the good and the bad. And I talked to a few people about it over the course of the week. Um, talked to my wife. She voiced her opinion, a few close friends. There was a lot of things that I would have been sacrificing by continuing to be on the road. Uh, and at the end of the day, I had to decide what mattered the most. And, you know, right now, being at home does. Uh, if situation was different, you know, and it was just me, you know, out here, you know, then I probably would have stayed out. Uh, but there's nothing that overall right now could happen differently that would make me change my mind. You know, it's um, the, the saying really is true when they say this isn't for everybody. Now, it was for me. I love traveling. Anybody will tell you, you know, he loves driving. He loves driving all over this place. If I could, I would take my family with me and I would do this job. They will tell you that, you know, so there's no doubt there. It was right for me. But when it comes to my family, my daughter, my wife, it wasn't for them, you know, um, even though they say that the person going out on the road, you know, it has to be for them. It also has to be for the family also, you know, and for the wife and the daughter, it wasn't for them. They, you know, it was hard for them to deal with um, a spouse or a parent that was always on the road 75 to 80 percent of the month or of the year, you know, and. You know, when it comes to the reasons why I left, you know, it was a whole bunch of reasons. And I would never speak ill of Boat or of my fleet owner, which, by the way, had a fantastic fleet owner. I won't mention him by name, but he was a really great fleet owner. I've dealt with maybe three fleet owners between two companies. And he was perhaps the best one. You know, he was very patient with me and very forgiving because I know I wasn't the best driver. I know it and he probably knows it. I had the potential to be the best, you know, which is why I try to strive for it in everything that I do. But coming towards the tail end before I left, I wasn't giving him my hundred percent. You know, I probably wasn't even giving him 50%, you know, because at that point I was starting to have doubts. Um, reality really started to sit in and I'm like, could I see myself doing this for the next even five years or the next year? And at first I was like, you know, I can, but reality is I can't, you know, I couldn't. Will I ever go back out on the road at this point? Probably not. Um, like I said, maybe the situations was different. And if I was, you know, perhaps single and I didn't have a kid, I probably would have just stayed out. Wouldn't even have this video made. But I value them a lot more. You know, so I think while I'm at home now, I'm going to spend more time focused on my YouTube channel. As well as finding like a local job, um, I can actually focus on building another computer because uh, I do have plans for that. And the overall experience with me being on the road wasn't bad. I don't regret it. I wouldn't take it back. But we start breaking down individual things. When it comes to the fleet owner, I have nothing bad to say about them. Nothing. 
I mean, I might have my quirks about them, but they're not even worth mentioning. You know, that's just how good he was. But now when it comes to the company itself, they say that you pick a company that works for you. And that's the reason why I left XPO and came to Bolt. There, Bolt seemed like it was a good fit for me at the time for what I wanted. You know, you got one company where XPO, where, you know, they have some good things about them. You know, they pay you 35 cents to deadhead. They pay you empty move. Back then, it was after 24 hours. They paid you the empty move somewhere. Um, when you get fuel advances, it was 40% of your line haul. That was that, Those were the good things. The miles were average. They were steady. They were just straight across the board. No spikes or anything. However, I was always going around circles. It was always the same Michigan, Indiana, Ohio. The occasional Pennsylvania. But it was just the three states mainly. And I got tired of that. I love traveling. I wanted to see new things. You know. And I don't want to say new things. Because I've been traveling a lot before I've been expediting. But I don't like seeing the same thing over and over and over again. You know. And then there's Boat that. I've been all over the place with Boat. I've been as far west as south as Laredo. You know, and been all the way to almost May. You know, and everything in between. I've been to Iowa. Never been there before. See the world's largest truck stop. Something that XPO may or may not have offered me. I don't know. But that's what I wanted. I valued that slightly more than money. You know, I'm more of a sightseer. You know, money, I don't want to say it's no issue. But it wasn't. You know, and... So that's what both offer. But then again, you got the other side of the spectrum where you only got 10 cent for deadhead miles. They only paid you for deadhead after 50 miles. You know, they didn't do empty moves. Or if they do, I heard it was only 10 or 11 cent a mile. You know, your fuel advances is barely over 20%. I did a lot of sitting. I averaged certain amount of miles but they were spikes you know there was one moment i would get 15 1600 miles a week the next week 800 you know so it was a lot of different factors that made me decide that you know what this is it so like i said i'm gonna focus more time with my family more time on my youtube channel uh, i'm gonna focus on building me another computer and just focus on catching up on things that i missed you know, because it seemed like since February, when I first came out, it seemed like my daughter grew like two feet, you know, and I missed out on that. So, uh, right now I'm in the van, about to clean it out, and uh, then tomorrow, uh, I'm going to take the van back to the fleet owner. Now, I suggest, for those of you that are in this process that may consider leaving, talk to your fleet owner. Talk to your fleet owner, because originally I wasn't, I won't lie, I'm not going to BS anybody. Originally, I was going to make him come get the van, because I didn't have the money to take it to him. No 450 plus miles from Buffalo to Flint, and I definitely didn't have money to get back home. Uh, I had everybody tell me, talk to him, you know, and I told him, I said, you know, I don't want to be that person that don't bring you back to van. I want to bring it back to you because that's a promise I made to you at the beginning. But I can't afford it. You know, he offered to pay for my gas to get to Flint and offer to buy my bus ticket home. You know, so just talk to your fleet owner if you're ever in this point. You know, but if I had to leave you all with any parting words, when they say make sure this is something you want to do, that this is for you. That's a larger meaning than what it's saying. Make sure if you are a family man, make sure this is something for your kids, something for your spouse, because they're going to be as much invested in this as you are. You know, make sure it's for them just as much it is for you, because if it's not for one of them, it's not going to work out. You know, and I'm kind of a testament to that. 
So, like I said, I don't regret being out. I don't regret being home. It is taking something to get used to being home all the time with so much free time, but I make use of it. Uh, so far as the plans going forward with this channel, as far as this part of it, um, I will still make expediting videos. Uh, the focus will shift more towards, you know, advice topics instead of, you know, weekly recaps and stuff. Uh, cause I haven't had a load for almost two weeks. Uh, I took a load from around the corner from my house to Boston you know, and then that was it, and then I dead headed home, and that pretty much was it, so, uh, I just want to leave you all with that, I'm about to go ahead, clean up this van for him, and get ready for tomorrow, and I'll catch y'all later.